Well, you might think that there's no way of predicting the lifespan of humanity, but uh, there are scientists whose entire job is to make estimates like this. The one I used, which was, like I said, a very generous estimate, came from J. Richard Gott. He wrote something called the Doomsday Argument, which took into account all the things that could possibly end us, from astronomical events to pandemics that we just can't recover from. And he did this by looking at human history and seeing how we recovered from other massive events. And he is just one of many people studying human extinction. The Future of Humanity Institute put this table together for the estimated probability of human extinction before 2100 in 2008. There's also foundations like the Global Challenges Foundations that seeks to find ways to overcome possible challenges that would be a threat to humanity and several independent professors from philosophy to math to biology and so on. And a lot of these estimates take the challenges that we face and find patterns in them in how they compound over the years, especially with the challenges that we're facing right now. And it compares that to the speed of technological and medical advance and other advancements that might protect us. And while these estimates cannot, like Nostradamus, predict the exact day that humanity goes extinct, the goal is not to do that. The goal is to predict it within a tolerance of error. And the 7 million and change calculation for the amount of years that humanity has is basically a way to go, we're pretty sure that there is a chance that humanity will go extinct by now. A 95% chance, basically, is what they said. And yeah, these estimates change all the time. Mostly for the worst. A lot of scientists are saying there's a 1 in 6 chance of us going extinct within the next few centuries. I'm not that pessimistic. And one of the other reasons we're able to do that is because we've seen so many species go extinct. Even with humanity trying to preserve them. Extinction, like death, is kind of just a natural part of the life cycle. And while we can't know for sure, we can do our best modeling off what has happened to us in the past and to other species out there. And I know that a lot of people like to think of us as just totally separate from this cycle that eventually makes species go extinct, but we're not, scientifically. Humanity is a lot less special than you think. But like, geez, do you have any idea how long 7 million years is? The entirety of recorded human history is only about 5,000 years. Like these estimates, the generous ones, already have us living orders of magnitude longer than we already have, and orders of magnitude longer than any other species. And to look at that and go, pfft, that's stupid, we're gonna live forever longer than the sun. Longer than the sun! Think about how that sounds! Isn't that kind of arrogant to think that we are somehow better than the literal ball of plasma that keeps us alive? I just don't get this sentiment. 